Hello, it's me, Shrewboy303, uh, welcome back to Dragon Quest XI, um, welcome to hell. <laughs> yeah, the world's gone, uh, gone up sideways, so, um, yeah. Uh, we've got vicious calamari kids now here, um, yeah, rude. I was gonna say, yeah, uh, we need to be heading to the, our uh, work, Giga Smash hits both. Oh, well, they're dead now. Yeah, we need to be heading to the last bastion. But, um... What's his face? Homeboy? Tickle the tockle? Sure, I mean, sure. Yeah, I can't tell whether, like, there's gonna be another immediate problem I need to do, or whether it's just saying, hey, lol, the entrance to Tickington's here now. Oh, hey, y'all. <laughs> I was gonna say, is this just... Yeah, I think this might just be telling us, oh, hey, the entrance is here now. Hey, y'all. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't say unless someone talks to us in here and tells us to go do something. Undo the damage. Yeah. Right, yeah, that's fine. We don't actually need to do anything. I guess that, yeah, that was just him saying, oh, the entrance to Tickington is here now. Right, that's fine. Like I said, I will be doing those if I decide to do them off screen at the end. And I like, have them as a bonus video, maybe. Right, that's fine. Um, I mean, there are vicious slimes. We don't need to pick up any. I will say off screen, again, I did actually look at what water surge was used for. And I could only find, like, what, wait, Oh, we know we needed to go west. <laughs> Can I use the horse here? Hold on, I want to attack this vicious slime. They're only slimes. The worst thing they're going to do is... What is it? Frizz. Slay. Um, since we lost the power of the luminary, let me look at the character builder. Well... Oh, hold on. Was Swords Mastery always open? I don't remember. Oh well. Um, can I? Let me just grab the horse. It can, oh damn it! <laughs> I was gonna say, can I have a horse, please? Good lord, the stuff. Ever yeah, there's just like, yeah, I guess technically new stuff. Vicious Drakies. No, we already fought a Skelligan with Eric. We don't need to fight one here. Well, it's that vicious metal sl- yeah, work. Um, I mean, <laughs> I'll try and attack it until it runs away. Because, <laughs> I mean, who knows, I might get lucky and get a critical hit. <laughs> then again, it might also just run away, like, before we can try it. Oh, there we go. Well, see, I tried. The effort was there. It's just a shame I didn't have anyone who was like, who can hit more than once. Well, right, let me go to this camp over here. Excuse me, <laughs> let me run please. I assume Mr. Man here is just gonna have all the same stuff. Oh. <laughs> Not quite, oh well. I mean, there's nothing I need to do, so let's just take a nap and go. Can I summon a horse from here? Because I couldn't use my hailer, but can I use this one? Oh good, I can. Slay. Right, don't need to... F okay. Oh, it's another... <laughs> okay. That's like, you know what I'll do? I don't know whether abilities actually hit... Oh, never mind. Oh, I'll, I'll just kill the Draki just on the off chance we manage to f get the slime. Again, we probably won't, but I'll try. <laughs> Let's see. I'll be honest, I thought we would have been able to just, like, run over. Ah, uh, we fought them in the other side, that's fine. It, it just seems like... It just seems like vicious versions of things we've already fought. Or is this just a regular... Oh, that's just a regular exoskeleton. I just saw the red light and thought it was a... <laughs> thought it was a... What is it? A vicious one. That was fine. 
did not need to fight this fight, but here we go, it's done. Um, oh, that was weird. A Kazmonaut. I was gonna say, normally when we've done things like, like when we've run into enemies like that, we've either like just bopped them straight out of the way or like just straight gotten into a battle with them. Oh well. I mean, maybe we're well equipped, but yeah, that was that point. Maybe we're just well equipped. So like these fights don't seem too bad. Right, Cobblestone Falls was this way. So, I mean, we'll just zo well, we'll zoom because we can't. <laughs> Rest in peace, the zoom function. I mean, I suppose it'll be like until we, until we revisit all the places. Right, let's go horse. To the last bastion we go. Which I'm... Hello? I was going to say I'm pretty sure it's just... Hel not Heliodor, Cobblestone. I'm pretty sure. Hey y'all. I was gonna say, does the map maybe want to load? Yeah, there we go. Cobblestone has been replaced with the last bastion. Ooh! Ah, oh, I don't need to fight anymore. <laughs> hey. I turn back. Okay. <laughs> I turn. Maybe I just came from the place you're telling me to turn back from. Hold on. Oh, no, never mind. I was going to say, yeah, because... What was it? That section of... Oh, look, there's a new raven. Hello, please. Would you like to fight little raven? <laughs> Come on, fight me. Oh, oh, ranting and raven. Good lord. Yeah, like ranting and raving. Yeah, I was going to say the item duplication apparently doesn't happen until later, so, like, things won't have duplicated yet. You know what, no, we're just meant to be going to the Bastion, so... We don't need to, like, head to that other, what is it? Yep. The other camp, good lord. A fatalistic. And I did see another- yeah, we go. Oh. <laughs> Didn't realise the horse was on the- was on the fence. Oopsie doodles. Right, let me just- oh god. I could've just gone around after all of that. Oh, Chimera Wing. It looked like it was just the Fatalistic that was a new item. Is there anything up here? No, that's fine. Right, onwards we go. Safety ho, please. Is that Sandy? Does this game just have one dog? Oh. Sorry, horse. Just gonna just live there, will you? Girl, you go so slow. I'm just speeding past you. I'm so sorry, little dog. <laughs> just go faster. <laughs> oh, lordy lord. Anyway, good thing they didn't have anyone guarding the place. Oh look, Gemma's still alive. Good for you, Diva. <laughs> oh my, it's it's really you, isn't it? Yup. not quite the cobblestone we grew up in, is it? No. We've been through a lot. After you left, this terrible man named Jasper came. I'll never forget his eyes. 
They were so cold. He he rounded us all up in the center of the village, and then he ordered his men to kill us. But we were lucky. Not everyone is as cruel as Jasper. No, another soldier came and told him to stop. He said there was no need to take our lives. But that didn't stop them burning the village to the ground and locking us all up in the castle. Still, that one good man made sure we came to no harm. Sorry, Sandy, you're right. He just got home after a long journey. He doesn't want to hear me blathering on. Come on. Let's go and see the one person who'll be even happier to see you than me. I was gonna say, is she actually, like, is our mother actually gonna remember us this time around? <laughs> oh, please, go faster, Gemma. I'm so sorry, but just go faster, girly. <laughs> Not a weapon shop. Hey, do you sell weapons? Ooh. A night cleaver. Oh, work will deal light damage. That was fun. Um, I mean, <laughs> am I already wearing that stuff? Oh no, I'm wearing the drizzly and stuff, aren't I? Yeah. Work. Sorry, Gemma, I got a bit distracted. <laughs> Where'd she go? Oh, she's over there. That's fine. No, I, I will for a second. Hold on. <laughs> The world is in dire straits, but you cannot stop me from destroying property. And for a special medicine, I think it was worth it, personally. Now, what about here? Is there property I can destroy? Damn it, no, there's not. What's the point, then? Put your bags into it. The boys are out there doing the fighting, so it's up to us to keep the home fires burning. That's not very feminist. Sorry to interrupt, Amber, but uh, I've got big news. Hello, Gemma, love. What's got you so excited, hmm? Well, you're not going to believe this, but there's someone very special here to see you. I, I just can't believe it's you. After all the awful things that happened, I was sure you were... Sure you were... <laughs> when the disaster struck, so many people lost their lives. The sun vanished, and those terrible monsters appeared all over the place. Even those of us who were lucky enough to survive were so drained and desperate that we almost lost the will to live. And then the hero appeared just when we needed him. He did all he could to help people, no matter who they were or where they were from. He fought off the monsters, and brought everyone here to safety. Without him, I dread to think what would have become of us. And now, thanks to him, the place you once knew as Cobblestone has become the last bastion. Humanity's safe haven in a world beset by darkness. Would you believe we've even got the King of Heliodor camped out here? I know he was the one who ordered the village to be burned, but I'm sure he had his reasons. Things aren't always as they seem, love. He may be the last person you want to see, but you should go and talk things through with the king. Your grandfather would have wanted you to at least try. Just pop your head round the door of his tent, will you, love? For me. Speaking of our grandfather, I'm pretty sure he's stuck in limbo somewhere. <laughs> oh, 
Wait, hold I just had a thought. Grandmaster Pang, and there was a Mount Pang Lai. Do you think... Do you think Rab is technically at Mount Pang Lai? Because now that you think about it, Sylvando is in, like, the Hotto area. So, like, that, you would, like, we had to go through the Door of Departure to get there. Uh, Jade is in Octagonia. And Rab may well be at Mount Pang Lai, so... Oh, look, it's that little girl. I lost everything when Yggdrasil fell, my family, my friends, everything. There was so much I wanted to do, but how am I supposed to do any of it now? Shrewboid finds a grubby bandage. <laughs> oh, that, I was going to say, that chest is probably just the bank, isn't it? How much do I have in the bank? 18 grand work. <laughs> Uh, do I particularly need... No, I'm not desperate to stay at... What is it? Stay at an inn. I mean, it probably would be useful, but I don't need to, so I won't. Hold on, can I open the quest catalogue? Oh, oh, good lord. Okay. There's a lot more. <laughs> There's a lot more now. Right, that's fine. Um. So, yeah, um... Let's go find King Carnelian? Although, since, like, Mordigan has been revealed, is maybe the king back to just being the king? And not evil anymore? I mean, as a, I would assume he is also, yes, I am just, like, looking through all of these tents. Just to see if <laughs> there's any chests. Or, like, anything to break. Oh, uh, well, I don't even know where... I mean, I probably could have spoken to Amber. Amber. Again, just like, find where his tent is, work. I mean, at this point, I can get 100 gold from like, just a single fight. Oh dear. I'm stuck. But you know what, I'm not, again, I'm not gonna turn my nose about it, it's free money. Ooh, no wait, wait, was that man the shop? No, is it you? Oh. Oh, it's Dirk, yes. Hey, Dirk. No, sorry. Yeah, so, um, that being said, where are, basically, girl, just open your shop. I just want to see what's in here. A holy talisman. Ooh. Oh, no, never mind. Yeah, so that basically just leaves Eric and the twins unaccounted for. Like, Eric was up in the sky, but where did he end up, when, like, after that? And then we just straight up didn't visit the twins, so no idea where they are. Maybe they went to Arborea? Question mark. I don't know. <laughs> um, oh, did I already open that? I must have already opened that chest. Work. Um, another fatal... I mean, I don't need to go to the top. Oh, the royal... Oh, good lord. After all of that, there's just a the royal tent. I mean, at least I've had a look around down here. <laughs> like, unless I need to go to the tour for something. And, like, I won't need to go there again. Uh, I remember, yeah, there were, like, some barrels up here the very first time we went here. Maybe they'll have been replaced, maybe they won't. I couldn't tell you, to be honest. Now, I would love to climb up quicker, if the game would so allow it. It'd be very... <laughs> I would love it. Right, um, well there's a man. Yeah, there were these. I mean, I doubt there'll be things in here now, but I'm gonna break them anyway, just in case there are. Yeah, that's fine. I imagine it'd have been the same stuff. Oh, you know, I'm just gonna... <laughs> no, fall damage. Thankfully. I'm gonna say, yeah, I imagine it'll just be the same stuff from before. Ooh. Hello. Uh, that... Oh, that's a red door. Yeah, we opened that before. Um... Oh, look, we can go sleep in our own house and the looks of things. <laughs> Isn't that nice? <laughs> Alright, um... No, just beds. It doesn't really seem like there's stuff inside any of the tents. Like, everything just seems to be, like, outside in, like, barrels. I haven't really seen many chests other than that one I already opened. Right, they're fighting, that's fine. There are the remnants of our house. Oh, let's just take a nap while we're here, why not? 
Well, then, in that case, that makes the inn useless, then. Or, like, not useless, but, like, pointless. Because, like... I mean, I don't even know whether they'd charge you. I could have spoken, couldn't I? It'd be, a bit, it'd be a bit crunchy if they did charge you. It's like, yeah, the world has ended, but capitalism still reigns supreme. Oh, there, I nearly missed them. You know what? It was worth it. <laughs> Sages of Luxor, that was 90 MP, I think. Like, we had Rabu's one. Oh, there we go. We had Rabu's one against Pang before we lost. So now it worked. It worked, it's worth it. Um. Yeah, to be honest, it looks like there's only the royal tent left to look at anyway. Because, I mean, I'm pretty sure we went everywhere else, yeah. And there's nowhere else to go in. Oh, hold on. I spy an item that I'd like to grab. Oh. I mean, I, oh look, there's a little tockle there. I mean, it makes sense that there'd be, like, grubby bandages around. But, like, they'd just, like, throw them away, I guess. So it'd be a bit, be a bit rank reusing, <laughs> reusing bandages. I am here to destroy things and then bother the king. Hey. Greetings, Mr. Luminary. His Majesty's waiting. He woke up not too long ago and seems rather keen to talk to you. Hey, Diva. So, you are alive and well, I see. You have nothing to fear. I have regained my senses at last. The living nightmare that began for me on the day of your birth has ended. Though in truth, I remember little of what I did. I have inflicted so much pain on so many. On you. I do not ask for forgiveness. I do not deserve it. All I ask is that I be allowed to atone. To pay for my crimes by protecting those who remain. Tell me, do you recall what happened on that fateful day? The events that came to pass beneath Yggdrasil's branches? I mean, my powers got stolen and then I turned into a fish. I lost all my friends. So yeah, it was Jasper. I recall nothing. All I know is that Whomever, or whatever, had me in its grasp for all those years, left me, there. And when at long last I returned to my senses, I was here. There is something else I must ask you. Tell me, do you know if my daughter is alive? I mean, I don't know, but I think she's in Octagonia. If your daughter's Jade. Your Majesty, the hero has returned. He brings more survivors seeking sanctuary. Come, you must meet he to whom we owe our survival. Though you may not wish to at first. Go away. I'll go to the north entrance. I was like, okay, but where? <laughs> I mean, have we not already established that it's Hendrik? Like, there were plenty of cutscenes, like where he found that little girl. That was it. <laughs> I think we've already established it's Hendrik. I'm just in a fun new outfit. Hey, bestie. Hendrick. Well, what news? The forces of darkness amass at the gates of Heliodor. They will strike, and soon. 
Sire, the people must be removed to safety. Men! All the signs are that our enemy will strike tonight. To arms! They shall not find us unprepared! Can I come? <laughs> Can I go fight? You must forgive him. He has fought harder than any of us. He has sacrificed more than anyone. Which is why his burden must be lightened. It is time that your differences were set aside, Luminary. Mankind needs you. Hendrik needs you. Will you stand beside him? I mean, I already said, can I come with him? So yes, I will. If we are able to withstand the assault tonight, we may yet survive. Join the troops outside the fortress when you are ready. I will say, that being said, am I ready right now? No, I'm not. Because we did a lot in this episode, you know? We woke up. <laughs> Wow. I mean, it's we woke up, we woke up, and we made it here after fighting some stuff, so I think that's good. And I'm going to leave this episode here, so thank you for watching. Feel free to like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you'd really like to, and next time, we're going to join Hendrik and head to Heliodor, apparently. So I'll see you then.